Hey everybody, uh, Mr. Mathblog here. This lesson is subtraction uh, with renaming. So we're going to be doing what they call it borrowing later on. If you guys get a chance, would you guys like this video? That would uh, help encourage me. All right, there's our common core strand. And our question is, how can we use renaming to find the difference of two mixed numbers? So here's an example here. Julia is making a string of beads for her bedroom. She bought two and a half yards of beads and has used one and five six of that so how many yards of beads does she have left okay so underline the sentence that tells us what we need to find well we need to figure out how much she has left and so what operation are we going to use to solve this problem well she started with this and she's used up this so the rest of it is going to be found by subtracting you guys so we're going to use subtraction here so one way is to rename the, the first mixed number so when we subtract two and one half minus one and five six we still have to get a common denominator let's estimate you guys so two and a half uh, that's right there at two and a half we'll keep that at two and a half but this one's close to two can you see five and five over six is close to six over six so this is almost as one plus one so we'll estimate this is two this is two and a half so two and a half minus two is going to give us a half right there so we're going to get an answer that's going to be a fraction that's less than one right there so as long as we get an answer that's less than one we'll be good all right, so let's go ahead and first find the common denominator. We'll use the common denominator to write equivalent fractions uh, with like denominators. Okay, so uh, 2 goes into 6, so we're going to use the common denominator of, um, uh, well, of 12, I guess. I thought we are going to use 6, but we'll use 12. That's no big deal. We'll get, we're going to do the same thing. So 2 times 6 is 12, so we've got to multiply this. 1 times 6 is going to be 6. So here's 2 and 6 twelfths, and then um, uh, 6 times 2 is 12, so we had to multiply 5 times 2 to get us 10 twelfths. Now we're going to subtract, you guys. So we can't subtract 6 twelfths minus 10 twelfths, because this is a bigger twelfths right here. So what we're going to do is borrow, and the book calls it renaming. So we're going to rename 2 and 6 twelfths as a mixed number with a fraction greater than 1. So here, think of this, you guys. Here's 2 and 6 twelfths. We'll treat this 2 as 1 plus plus 1 okay and 6 12 so here's our 2 and 6 12 now what we're going to do is change these ones to uh, 12 over 12 right here okay so here's this uh, this one is going to be 12 over 12 all right so we're going to go ahead and um, uh, this one is still right here so here's the two this is two right there that's this two but we're changing one of the ones to 12 over 2, so 12 over 12 right here, so we can add these guys and make it 18 over 12. So 2 and 6 twelfths is the same as 1 and 18 twelfths, because here's the 12 twelfths, which is that 1. Here's the 6 twelfths. I hope that makes sense, you guys. Okay, so we, so what I tell my students is this: you borrow from this, it becomes a 1, and then your new top number is just the addition of these two numbers right here. So you borrow from this, it becomes a 1 and then just add these two numbers together and you get 18 twelfths okay and and then so now we can um, uh, rewrite it as 1 and 18 twelfths and we can subtract 1 and 10 twelfths so now we can do 18 minus 10 18 minus 10 is 8 or 8 twelfths 1 minus 1 is, is 0 okay so we get uh, just 8 twelfths right there so 8 divided by 4 um, is 2 and then 12 divided by 4 is 3 so 8 twelfths reduces to 2 thirds okay now let's check to make sure our answer is reasonable well remember Remember our, our estimate was one half, you guys. So since our answer of two thirds is close to our estimate of one half, then our answer is e is is uh, reasonable right there. All right, here's a um, so Juliet has um, uh, two two thirds of be of yards of beads left right there. Okay, so what we did, you guys, is we borrowed from the two, made it a one, and then we changed this 6 over 12 to 18 over 12 and we just added these two numbers together that's a shortcut how to do that right there All right here's a different way we can rename both mixed numbers as a fraction that's greater than 1 so here we're going to subtract 2 and a half minus 1 and 5 6 so we're going to write the fractions um, uh, using common denominators so so here I made them 6 this time I hope you guys are okay with that I was getting them mixed up right here so 2 goes into 6 3 times so um, uh, if we multiply this by 3 over 3 1 times 3 is 3 3, 2 times 3 is 6 okay now we can't do 3 minus 5 without borrowing so what we're going to do is is change both fractions we're going to rename both mixed numbers as a fraction that's greater than 1 okay so 2 here's 2 
right here. 6 over 6 plus 6 over 6. Remember, this is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So here's this 2. This 2 stands for this 1 plus this 1 plus the 3, 6. Okay, here's the 1 right here. 6 over 6 plus 5 over 6. Now we have common denominators. So we'll change 2 and 3, 6 to 6 plus 6 is 12 plus 3 is 15. So this is 15, 6 right there. And 6 plus 5 is 11. So this is 11, 6. And we can subtract these guys. 15 over 6 minus 11 over 6 is going to get us 4 over 6, okay? And then 4 divided by 2 is 2, 6 divided by 2 is 3, so that reduces to 2 thirds right there. Okay, so 2 and a half minus 1 and 5, 6 is just going to be 2 thirds right there. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense, and take care, you guys.